Hi, my name is Jerry Bryant and this is Update Tuesday for February 2011. As part of our regular monthly update process, we are releasing 12 bulletins to address 22 vulnerabilities in supported versions of Windows, Internet Explorer, Office, and Internet Information Services. We recommend that customers install all security updates as soon as possible. But for this edition of Update Tuesday, I'm going to focus on the top three priority bulletins and I'll also discuss one additional bulletin that is closing an open issue in IIS. The first top priority bulletin for this month is MS11-003. This is a cumulative update for Internet Explorer that addresses four vulnerabilities. One of the vulnerabilities, CVE20103971, was made public in December and we released Security Advisory 2488013 on December 22nd to provide mitigations and workarounds to help protect customers from criminal activity. Microsoft takes these issues very seriously and we've been monitoring the issue along with our partners very closely. To date, we've only seen limited targeted attack attempts against this issue and while some may have anticipated an out of band bulletin release, we did not see elevation to those levels. To demonstrate this, the chart on the screen shows our telemetry for MS-10046, which we released out of band in August last year. When compared to CVE-20103971, you can see that attack attempts have been nowhere near the levels to warrant an out of band and the level of disruption they bring. The second top priority bulletin this month is MS-11006. This is a critical bulletin that closes out Security Advisory 2490606, which we published on January 4th. The issue affects supported versions of Windows XP, Windows Server 2003, Windows Vista, and Windows Server 2008. Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2 are not affected by this Windows Shell graphics processing vulnerability. In order to pull off an attack, an attacker, an attacker would have to host a specially crafted thumbnail image or a file containing a specially crafted thumbnail image on a network share and then convince a user to go to that share in Windows Explorer. We have not seen any attacks against this vulnerability, but proof of concept code is available to attackers, so we recommend customers put this at the top of their deployment list. Now the third top priority bulletin is MS11007, addressing a vulnerability in the OpenType Compact font format, which is critical for Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows Server 2008, and Windows Server 2008 R2. It's important for Windows XP and Windows Server 2003. The vulnerability was privately disclosed to us, and we rate this a two on our, ex our exploitability index. A two means that we do not expect to see reliable exploit code surface for this issue in the next 30 days. However, since this could potentially be exploited by visiting a maliciously crafted web page, we do recommend that customers install the update as soon as possible. The last bulletin I want to mention today is MS11004, which addresses a vulnerability in the FTP component that ships with Internet Information Services 7.0 and 7.5. This bulletin is rated important and we give it an exploitability index rating of two. I mention it today because there has been some public discussion about it. Uh, this issue can potentially re result in remote code execution, but our analysis is that uh, this would be extremely difficult and any attack attempts are more likely to result in denial of service. Regardless, those running the IIS FTP service should consider installing this one very soon. So today we're also announcing an update to Security Advisory 967940, which we released in February of 2009 to announce updates to the Windows Auto Run feature that help to protect customers from malware that spreads via devices such as USB thumb drives. In 2009, we made the update available on the Download Center. Today, we are announcing that this update will be made available on Windows Update as an important non-security update. This means that customers who have auto-update enabled, which we highly recommend, will receive this update automatically. The changes in this update are already built into Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2, and according to our latest security intelligence report, pushing this update to all Windows users will have a huge impact on the spread of malware around the world. Please see the MSRC blog for more information on this update. So those are the top items for discussion this month to help you in your deployment efforts. 
We will be hosting a live webcast tomorrow. That's Wednesday, February 9th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, you can find a link to register for that webcast on our blog at www.microsoft.com forward slash MSRC blog. Now, if you are a consumer and are having trouble installing security updates, please visit HTTPS Consumer Security Support Microsoft.com where you'll find answers to the most common questions and links to more help options should you need it. So our next update Tuesday will be March 8th. And as always, we will be providing uh, information and guidance for you then. So thanks for watching. Until next month, uh, you can follow us on Twitter for news and any late breaking issues. And our handle there is at MSFT SecResponse. Thank you. Okay.